The next tool we're going to look at is how to work with filters, a really quick way of narrowing down our search. Our next task is to find out how many orders have been placed by the customer Ryan Croft. To start searching through a very large data like this could take ages. Fortunately, we have a tool called Filters, which allows us to hide all the information we don't need. Now, in this case, we open the data that immediately sees Ryan Craw near the top. If you're lucky enough to have this, a really quick option is to click on the value you want to filter by, then right click, come down to the filter, and choose filter by selected cells value. You'll notice you can also choose to filter by color, or by font color, or even icon. When I click by selected cells value, it immediately hides all the records that do not pertain to Ryan Croft. Now, to restore our data to how it was before, we can simply undo. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z. And we're back to where we were. That was a quick little filter. But our next task is a little more complex. We've been asked to identify all the orders placed in California in the year 2017 with a total of over 1,000. For this, we're going to need to use the filter tools. Now, these are available on the data tab of the ribbon in the sort and filter group. Right in the middle, you'll see a big filter icon. And when we click on that, it applies these little auto filters to each column. This allows us to quickly filter and even sort our data. Let's start by looking at the problem of filtering a data by state. So I'm going to come to my auto filter button, click the drop down, and all of the values in the column will appear. Now there's a lot in here, so I'm going to unselect this one, and then click on California, and press OK. My data has been filtered to only show state in California. If you have a look on the left-hand side, the numbers have gone blue, and there are obvious gaps. And if you have a look at the auto filter button, it's got a little filter icon telling us that a filter has been applied to this column. But if I put the entire address into one column, I could not be able to do this. So it is really good practice to make sure that each column only contains a single piece of information. Now let's have a look at further refining it. Unlike sorts, we can very easily apply multiple filters. So I'm going to now come to the order date, click the drop down, and we can now see it's got all the years for us to choose from. If, however, we wanted to use something a little more sophisticated, if you come to the date filters, you will notice you can actually choose date between yesterday, last week, last month, last quarter, last year. So quite a rich selection of options. So for this situation, however, we just want the year 2017. So I'm going to untick this one and click on 2017 and press OK. And a second filter has been applied. Now, the last thing I have to do is to restrict my total to be over 100. I'm going to click the drop down. But now, to go in and check all the values that are less than 1000 could take ages. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come to the number filters. And once again, lovely selection options. Let's try greater than. If we went for greater than or equal, 
that would include 1,000. We don't want to. So we're going to click greater than. We're going to type in 1,000 and press OK. And there, over 15 orders that were placed in California in 2017 with a total of more than 1,000. Now, to click a filter, you can either do them one at a time. So for example, I wanted to, to clear the state, just click on the drop down and clear filter from state. That has only cleared the filter on that column. If however, I wanted to clear all the filters and get my data back to how it was, Come up to your data tab and click clear. That will remove all the filters from your data set. And now, we're back to where we started. Now, with just one little task left to do, we also been asked to identify the top 20 biggest orders by total. So we're going back to our total order. And then click the drop down, go to our number filters, and you'll see there's a selection called top 10, but not top 20. That's okay. Top 10 means top something, not literally top 10. So I'm going to click top 10, and then I'm going to change the top 10 to 20. You can either click on this arrow or type in 20 there and then I could go for items or percent but with our example we will use items and then we will press ok and there are our top 20 orders by total so you can see there are quite a lot of fantastic options which will allow you to quickly narrow down your data set to just the data you need to see. Just before you finish working with it though, it's a really good idea to clear your filters so you don't confuse other colleagues who may think that data is missing. So we're going to come back to our sort and filter group, then click on the clear, and then if you want to get rid of the auto filter buttons, just click on your filter icon too. Another shortcut for doing your filtering is to use the keyboard shortcut that I have shared with you in our previous video. Just press Ctrl Shift L on your keyboard and there you will have your auto filter buttons at the top of your columns. And also to remove that, if you don't want to go to the, your data tab, you can also press again Control shift l to remove the auto filter buttons. So that's it. Now, it's your chance to have a go.